After rain, insects come out. This is the first ultraviolet trap that anyone's ever set in this area. What on earth? I've never seen that before. That, that thing there is a very strange family of bugs. It's not much recorded. How many things are here? I mean, 200 species? Easily. I think it'd be safe to say that at least 5%, if not 10% of them, may be undescribed. I mean, that's, that's the fact of it. So if we, we could save all the forests in hot countries like Guyana, then you would immediately save over 50% of all the world's species. So that, that surely is, you know, worth doing. Look at that. I mean, that is just stonkingly beautiful. This pale ivory-colored moth, and yet at the right angle, you see this, these beautiful little golden beads all, all around the edge there. I mean, that's just, you know, that's incredible. This is a monster. I've never seen this. Look at the size of this guy. Whoa. That is a mole cricket and a half. That's an absolute beauty. I'm in my element here and makes all the portaging and the sweating makes it all worthwhile. George must get some rest. He needs to be up early to search for the giant anaconda. On the top of Mount Apuigma, the climbers spent the night sheltering under an overhang. Now they're preparing for another day searching for animals. All this climbing takes quite a toll on your hands. Um, you just tend to get nasty, kind of, you know, blisters, particularly in the points where the ropes rub through your fingers. Does it hurt? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. Oh. Hundreds of swifts are feeding above, watched on by their predators, falcons. From the second we reached the top of the climb, these calls have been in our ears the entire time. And to begin with, we thought it was a bat falcon, which is quite common. But those don't occur at anything like this altitude or in this kind of terrain. What does, and in fact what was spotted in 1999 on a tapui to the east of us, is the orange-breasted falcon. And I think there'd be a lot of ornithologists out there who'd be really, really happy to know that it's alive and well here on Apuigma. It looks to me like we've got a pair with a youngster, and there's all sorts of interactions going on between the three of them. Very, very vocal birds. As Ivan explores the cliff face, Steve is hunting for the mystery mammal. There's a great little hole down here with loads of paw prints would make a perfect burrow. Let's go inside with the night camera, see what we can see. Yeah, it smells quite strong in here. That kind of musty animal smell. It certainly looks like a perfect burrow for a medium-sized mammal. Oh, I can't see any, there's loads of prints, but there's no, there's no uh, droppings. Since first light, George and Gordon have been continuing their search for Guyana's top predators. One of the boatmen thinks he's seen a giant anaconda hidden in the bushes. Anaconda? Anaconda? Yeah, and if he says it's a big one. It'll be big. The 
That's a big one. That's a big one indeed. Can we get in that? Nice in that? Oh. It's like a, it's like a, it's car, like a car tire. tire. Yeah. It's like a car tire on its side. A very large car tire. Gordon is just trying um, to sneak onto land and try and get a picture of this anaconda on the ground. Ah. Razor grass. Ah. Gordon's about mm, eight feet away from it. Goodness me, that's a huge snake. It's five metres long, its body the size of Gordon's waist. That's doing a bit of pruning. Can't really get a clear view of it. I've seen an anaconda smaller than that eat a whole pig. Something the size of me that could possibly do it. Anaconda kill by coiling their body tightly around their prey and stopping the blood circulation. The victim is swallowed whole. If you're scared of snakes, this thing would give you nightmares. Its tongue's not out. If its tongue comes out, that means it can sense us, it can actually taste us. At the moment, I think it's just fast asleep. Oh my God. Now oh, that is, that's big. This place really is strangely rich in wildlife. I've never seen or heard of anywhere like this place. This is a land of giants. Its eyes are open, isn't it? It's great to see it, and I, I think we should just leave it alone. They head into the forest, where they're confronted by yet another giant. Monster. This is an enormous tree. Okay. It's a silk cottonwood. Absolutely <laughs> fast. That's bigger than anything we've seen. Definitely. Good grief. That is incredible. Look, look at the size of those buttress roots. Oh, wow. Look, look, look. What have you got? What have you got? Look. It's ace. Oh, oh, my God. It's one of those. Um, that is incredible. Is this is a hawk moth. Which has been infected by... Is that a fungus? Exactly. And that's grown throughout the whole animal. The disease makes them crawl up higher. Really? So that when they die and the spores erupt out of the animal, it spreads over a further area. You have to be very careful what you eat in the jungle uh, because there are things that can make you feel very sick or the things that will grow inside you and erupt out of your back, your stomach. <laughs> And here's an example. Sci-fi films, they try and dream up hideous things, yeah. But actually, in the real world, there are ten times more hideous things happening to animals all around us than we, than we could ever imagine. Mm. I'll, bet you, I'll bet you any money that species of fungus is, is undescribed. I mean, it's a very underworked group. That, to me, is, <laughs> is quite unique. It's only from the air that you can see the vast scale of this forest. Guyana's trees alone lock up 2.7 billion tonnes of carbon, vital in the fight against climate change. But Guyana is a very poor country and needs to earn money from its trees. It faces a dilemma to allow logging now or keep the forests intact and hope to trade them for carbon credits in the future. So far, this forest is untouched, but it may not be for much longer. It's the last night on Mount Apuigma, and after dinner, the climbing team hope to find nocturnal animals. They've laid a series of small mammal traps, and Steve's rigging an ultraviolet light to attract insects. Look at these moths. Look I mean, at the size of this. Whoa. Got some enormous moths all the way down this wall here. Look. Look at the size of that. 